Our government has met with our provincial and territorial premiers, as well as indigenous and municipal leaders. Together, we're investing billions in the Kinder Morgan pipeline. We're not making these investments simply to be nice. We're making these investments and we're following through on our commitments because we know that it will be the world's poorest citizens who will be hardest hit by climate change. They should be punished. Today, with my signature, I give you our word that these actions are just the beginning. Shit. Hi, it's Shine, motherfuckers. I am your host, The Stimulator, and this is the fucking news. I was put on this planet to do this. This is, this is, I, I fight and I win. You got knocked the fuck out, man! These days up here in Canada, it's a bad time to try and lay down some pipe. Over the past two years, two massive fucking pipeline mega projects have been kibosched in the face of persistently low oil prices a growing popular opposition to the ecocidal climate fucking project known as the motherfucking tar sands and the specter of a full-blown indigenous-led insurrection. Last October, the greasy fucking oil slingers at TransCanada canceled their behemoth energy beast pipeline, which if completed, would have been the longest fucking piece of pipe in Turtle Island. If you have a milkshake, and I have a milkshake, and I have a straw, there it is, that's a straw. Traveling 4,600 kilometers, that's 2,800 miles. My straw reaches from Hardesty, Alberta, to refineries in St. John, New Brunswick. And one year before that, Canada's pretty boy PM, Justin Trudeau, solemnly announced the axing of Enbridge's proposed Northern Gateway pipeline, admitting that it had no fucking chance of getting past the dugging land defenders of the Onestutton camp located on unceded Wet'suwet'en territories in so-called BC. There isn't a country in the world that would find billions of barrels of oil and leave it in the ground while there is a market for it. At the same press conference, JT announced his firm commitment to seeing through the $5 billion Trans Mountain Pipeline being built by the Texas oil barons at Kinder Morgan. I drink your milkshake. I drink it up. This dirty fucking pipe, planned as a massive expansion to an existing natural gas pipeline, would nearly triple its capacity from 300,000 barrels per day to motherfucking 890,000 barrels, <laughs> allowing for the rapid transfer of bitumen from the motherfucking tar sands to the coastal city of Burnaby, where it would in turn be loaded onto tankers and shipped out through the ecologically sensitive Salish Sea to oil thirsty markets in China. China? China, China, China. I have to have my China. China, China, because China. That motherfucker's got to go. After announcing his firm yet sensitive support to the project, Trudeau managed to keep a straight face while assuring skeptics that Canada remains a climate leader. Internationally. Oh, uh, well, yeah, it's the world leader in the biggest fucking carbon footprint per capita, if that's what you mean. Anyway, with widespread pressure and the promise of massive fucking protests if they fucked around, the government in so-called BC came out against the proposed pipeline, leading Kinder Morgan to pull the fuck out of Dodge. But rather than take the fucking hit, Trudeau decided to double down on his tough guy act, announcing that the government of Canada would buy out Kinder Morgan's right to the pipeline for 4.5 billion ducats in a pig-headed attempt who ran the project through against a widespread opposition, citing national interest. Sort of like a miniature Joseph Stalin, but without the willpower needed to be such a ruthless tyrant and hopelessly incapable of growing a stash. What the fuck is this? Ironically, this is exactly what some liberal environs wanted. 350.org's Naomi Klein has been calling for the nationalization of Canada's oil industry as a way to create a green energy future. Uh, well, if you say so. Either way, whoever tries to build a Trans Mountain Pipeline better prepare for a serious fucking fight. No pipelines on unseated, stolen territory! And earlier this month in so-called Quebec, a video went viral after Faith Goldie, as Lisi, ethno-nationalist blogger, 
who got shit cam from the now defunct rebel media for being too public about her pro-Nazi views. This is why America, this is the new Berlin. Went to cover a protest at the US clan at the border and ended up running into the wrong crew. So I was uh, under the impression that this was gonna be a right-wing protest. Whether or not this was an intentional publicity stunt to garner more YouTube views, Goldie was clearly shook as fuck when confronted with a mob of Antifa snowflakes and promptly shat her pants. Sometimes people say, Faith, why do you keep a baby's wipes inside your car? And I tell them, because you never know when you're going to run into Antifa. This wouldn't be the first time that Goldie has publicly shat her pants either. Here she is shitting her pants while in the midst of trolling anti-fascists in Charlottesville when she was almost run over by one of her neo-Nazi comrades. James Alex Fields. I did more than use those wipes for my hands. But faced with the chance to attract more YouTube followers and maybe land an unpaid internship at Breitbart, Goldie has decided to diaper up and jump back into the breach, announcing that she'll be returning to the border this Sunday to rally against the so-called illegal foreign invaders, aka refugees from Trump's batshit racist America, who have been crossing into Canada at Roxham Road. I couldn't tell you how many times I was spat on, let alone the person that I was with. Loogies right in the face. And we're talking about really gross, sticky loogies. That one touched the ground. Last but not least, I want to give a real quick shout out to the J20 defendants who just got their conspiracy charges dropped. A whoop whoop to our comrade Cedar, who was recently granted bail, and a reminder that the Orange One's first visit to Canada is next week during the G7 meetings. So y'all know what to do. And that's all the fucking news for today. As always, don't forget to support my ass at sub.media slash donate or buy a t-shirt or a coffee mug with my face on it or our brand new bolt cutter t-shirt at sub.media slash gear. And remember to follow me on all your mass surveillance and mind control platforms. Just search for Stimulator. Hasta la pasta, compañeras. <laughs>